Hello, everyone. Thank you for watching another episode at Investing with All I See is W. Today, I wanted to make this video to share with you my insights on 10 tickers that made a bull run today during the stock market. Although we know that the stock market had a green day, most of the companies I'll be sharing with you, some had significant gains, but most overall did quite well today in the stock market. So that's great news. So let's go ahead and let's dive deep into the 10 tickers I'll be sharing with you. But first, before I begin, the information I'll be sharing with you should be used as guidance information only. And anytime when you make an investment decision on a company, please do your own investment research. Let's get started. Ticker number one I wanted to share with you is Vaxart by the ticker VXRT. So this company is based out in South San Francisco with an employee size of less than 20. But now the fact that it just had news where FDA had cleared the company to allow Vaxart to enter phase one clinical trials. So that is great news just knowing that now they can test their oral medication on 40 healthy patients to evaluate the safety and efficacy of its pre-approved medication for the COVID-19. So today, the share price went above 50% and it ended at 46, 47%. But that just shows that there is a big momentum run. There's been just an increased demand from like shareholders who are patiently waiting for biotech companies to explode with any news. So Vaxar just got gifted with with it going up to close to half its share price in one single day. So congratulations, investors. Okay, now I wanted to go over to ticker number two, and that is Anovio Pharmaceuticals by the ticker INO. Today, the company had gone up 12.3% and in the aftermarket it went up another half percent and as you can see it opened up in the mid 10s and it ended at close to mid $11 which is great news where now we're seeing a bull run uh, potentially coming for Inovio Pharmaceuticals and we anticipate that the peer review information will be coming in the coming weeks according to Joseph Kim from today's uh, presentation information and it's promising to hear that there was neutralizing antibodies or T-cell response for all 40 patients that were evaluated in phase one clinical trials. So that's good news there, just knowing that it will be aligned with the peer review information. The only difference is we'll just be reading it and we'll just be seeing the graphs that support its conclusion. So it'll all still be aligned to what we've already heard from preliminary news. For ticker number three, I wanted to share with you is iBio by the ticker IBIO. Today, the share price had gone up 9% with an increase of 18% per share price. Now it's hovering at $2.12. But just looking at the one month trend chart here, we do see an upward trend where the $2 is becoming the new support level here. So that's a good sign. And I do foresee long term growth with this company. And let's not ignore iBio because it's beginning to get more support from DARPA and from the top management. We're seeing iBio 201 be pushed further to advance into phase one clinical trials soon. We don't know when that's going to happen, but likely I'm thinking in Q4. Or we may hear some information in Q1 of 2021. Let's continue to monitor iBio because I do foresee the share price to continue to go upward. Ticker number four I wanted to share with you is Regal Pharmaceuticals by the ticker RIGL. Today it's gone up 7.3% and I believe it's been going up just from market sentiment and overall what I like about this company is while in August we experienced a downward trend with biotech companies, this company didn't really experience so much. So you see it's been just flat here but what's good is as you can see it's, it's it's increased up to two dollars and fifty we haven't seen that just by hovering all the way back until we get back to august here only but it's been going down back in july as well so to me i feel like this is a this is a great company to monitor in terms of the products that they are developing and producing for 
potential clinical trials, let's not ignore Regal Pharmaceuticals. Now, next up I wanted to share with you is Novavax. Today it's gone up close to 11% at the end of the market, and while in the after hours it's gone up above close to 2.7%, where now it's gone up in its share price hovering at $108.65. Can it go up more? Question is, <coughs> how high can it go up? To me, I foresee this to likely potentially go up 150 dollars even before the product gets approved and then it may experience a downward trend and then it may go up beyond that again so it's still a long process at this time but 150 dollars is not too far away so that's my uh forecast with uh, novavax but it's great to see the share price go up so much today this is like a beast mode uh, ticker in my opinion next up I wanted to share with you is VBI vaccines by the ticker of VBIV and today share price had gone up close to 13% while in the after hours it's hovered up an additional 0.85%. This is good news for the company if you're considering to hold the company uh, shares in the long term. They have a great product line. For example, they do have the Happy vaccine that is produced in uh and distributed in israel so that's great news also they're working on revamping and building on the covid 19 infrastructure program that's going to be based out in canada and once the regulatory authorities approve the use of its hepatitis vaccine program in the united states as well as in canada i foresee the share price to continue going up even beyond it's uh, six dollars and we know recently let's look at the six month trend chart here back in july it shot up in share price up to six dollars and it's gone back down can it go back up to that yes it can <clears throat> so let's not ignore vbi vaccines next up i wanted to share with you is tesla by the ticker tsla we know this is the benchmark of all electric vehicle companies and it's just a strong company that continues to just skyrocket even though it had its uh, recent stock split it doesn't matter because the return on investments are just going to continue to skyrocket because of its sales growth there's such an increased demand for cars like tesla because of the performance that the car provides you notice a quarter mile for a three series tesla can go 12 seconds out in the street not only is it saving you on gas it sounds super quiet and it's faster than most cars on the street right there while it just looks so simple inside so that's why tesla is just outperforming a lot of other companies and to me i think that the share price can likely go up to the thousand quickly so I wouldn't be surprised for it to get close to that price uh, by uh, close to end of year Q4. So that's Tesla. Next up I wanted to share with you is Apple by the ticker AAPL. And today it's gone up uh, quite significant at 3% gain. That's more than S&P Dow Jones on most days. Apple had just had its uh, stock split as well, but just knowing that the price is much lower now you can capitalize from its recent drop from like 134 to 115 well when you got at the low it could have been at 110 but now it's at 115 which is five dollars increase but it's better than buying it back when it was or two weeks ago it's a great opportunity to capitalize on apple stocks if you have the propensity to do so Next up I wanted to share with you is Microsoft by the ticker MSFT. Why is this a value add company? Well, back in September, share price was hovering at $230. But now you can get it for $25 off at the share price of $205. The fact that this company has a number of different applications that support most companies that are driven in manufacturing and service providing companies Microsoft is providing so much support right now, uh, especially during this pandemic where companies can leverage Microsoft Teams and communicate through meetings and so forth. So that's why I do foresee Microsoft to be a value add company in the long term for investment. Last ticker I want to share, to share with you is Sorrento Therapeutics. So today the share price had gone up close to 18% end of market while in the after hours it had gone up an additional two percent ending 
today at a share price of 761 so looking at the one day tr trend chart here opened at 673 at one point it hovered at 681 but it ended at 745 which isn't too bad while in the after hours it got up to 761 now as we expand out don't you notice that it at one point hit the $20 and now it's been taking a downfall is there a moment where it's going to increase now where we may see a v-shape or a u-shape that's potentially coming up for us right knowing that this company has EUAs in place for two products for United States distribution. Also, they're working on getting approval in Brazil from the health authorities and Visa to support the Covishield product line that will likely get approved and then be used for infected COVID-19 patients in Brazil. So that's all good signs for Sorrento Therapeutics, similar to how Vaxart, which I share with you as ticker number one, where it gained like close to 50%, Sorrento Therapeutics has that capability to, to gain that amount as well, just with any public release on any news information. So overall, those were the 10 tickers I wanted to share with you. I hope it was valuable in a sense that you can, you can apply it to your own investment strategy thinking. So I hope that was valuable for you, and thank you for watching another episode at Investing with All I See is W. Thank you.